WRAG's Jarita Patterson spoke with a neighbor who wants to pull everyone together to finally turn things around. Around midnight, police made a stop at this truck stop in response to an assault. A female victim shot in the wrist was loaded into an ambulance while unloading onto police quite the story. The victim says after walking past the Blue Beacon truck wash here along Lamar, she spotted an unknown woman parked at Love's. Reportedly, the stranger started shouting before shooting. The female gunman wearing a black shirt, diamond necklace with her hair silk pressed, pressed the accelerator as she was gone by the time police arrived. Well, yes, yes, of course, of course. In Memphis, you know, we're tired of the crime. We're tired of the, the gun violence. This man who goes by the initials AO frequents this area often and says violence has a ripple effect impacting those who call the area home and those simply passing through. It's just messing up the commerce too because pretty soon people are not going to want to come through the area. Wise words from AO who also says change is possible. However, we can't expect a swift change. It will take time, but he also adds it will also require the community coming together in order to finally begin moving in a more positive direction. We need to get back into the communities, help the young brothers and sisters find guidance, find goals. Sadly, police were also called to Tutwiler Avenue in Midtown for another shooting around 1.30 a.m. The victim will be okay. Half an hour later, another shots fired call in Frazier along North Watkins. No one was discovered injured, but the front window at this nearby store was hit. Cleaning things up by sweeping up the shattered glass is just the start, as others are hoping the same will happen to crime that's sweeping across the city. For your news leader, Jarita Patterson, WREG News Channel 3.